Hey everybody, how's life? So in this video, we'll be talking about the view pager and the tab bar layout. So let's look at what we'll be making in this video. This is our application with a view pager and tab bar. At the top, we have our tabs 1, 2 and 3. And you can swipe between the views using the view pager. And that's what we are going to make in this video. So let's get on and get into Android Studio. So let's start by creating a new Android project. We'll name it view pager and tab bar like this. And we'll keep the minimum API to be 15. And we'll start with a basic activity so that we can get the design support library. Now let's go to our layout folder in the resource directory in the content main and let's open our activity main also so first of all we are going to delete this floating action button from here and from the java file itself from the main activity we are also going to delete the code for the floating action button and we'll also delete this code from here for menu now let's get back to content main.xml and remove this text view from here and we'll add in our view pager and its uh, width would be match parent and its height would be also match parent and let's close this here itself and let's give it id of view pager so we have added our view pager to our xml file and in the activity main what we are going to do we are going to include the tab bar layout inside the app bar layout itself. Otherwise, what you'll have, you'll have a, some kind of shadow beneath the toolbar, which doesn't look good. So we'll add, we'll add the tab bar layout inside the app bar layout itself. So adding tab bar is easy. It's tab layout and its width would be match parent and its height would be wrap content and uh, inside in here let's uh, add in some tab item width would be again wrap content and height would be wrap content and let's give it a text like this like uh, uh, tab one suppose now there are a few properties which you can give you to your tab layout that is firstly we will give it a id id like this tab layout secondly we will be providing some properties for tab layout like uh, tab background tab background and before adding any tab background or any colors to our tab bar let's add some colors to our color file Let's delete this first. Go to your values folder and in your uh, colors.xml, we'll add in some color files, rather, some color names. Color, let's give it a pink color like this. We'll be using pastel colors, it looks good. FF9CEE -E. and uh, for green, I'll use a pastel green. And its hex code is uh, B A F F C A B A F F C nine not A. And for yellow, we are using using a, again a pastel yellow color. And some more colors like uh, color, we will be using the light gray color. So let's name it light gray. Its hex code is. Uh, you can use any color you want i am using these colors particularly and for color white it's hash ff ff you can use three f's or you can use four f's just close these files and then our activity main.xml inside the tab layout we will give it a background color for the tab that is tab background and you can use it from here add color flash it should be color primary because it matches otherwise if you will be using white it would look like this it's color primary and for the 
tap indicator color that is the small horizontal bar beneath the tab we'll, we can give it a color tab indicator color would be white add color white and the tab text color tab text color would be we'll be using gray add color light gray and for the selected tab color tab selected text color would be add color white and one more thing you can do you can give a ripple color to your tabs that is when when someone clicks on a tab the ripple you see you can give it a color tab ripple color it's better to give the ripple color of the darker shade of your background color so let's use color primary dark because we have used a tab background color as color primary so we'll be using the tab ripple color of primary dark so that's that's all what you need to do in the xml then let's go to main activity java and here what we'll do we'll find our view pager and we'll find our tab bar layout tab layout let's find it now let's go to your java folder and let's create a new package and we'll name it tab fragments I've created a new package because we want to put all of our tab fragments inside this package itself. So let's create a new fragment. We'll use a blank fragment. We don't want to include any factory methods or interface callbacks because if we want them, we can add them later on. Let's click on finish. We have a blank fragment. Let's create two more blank fragments. Now let's open the layout file for each of the fragments. We are not doing anything in the XML file of the fragments. We will be changing the color of the background of the text view. And for this we will use add color, say yellow, like this. For the second fragment XML, we will give it a background like this, add color, pink. And for the third fragment, we'll give it a background color of green. Add color green. Now let's close all these tabs. Now inside here, what you'll do, let's define our blank fragments. Blank fragment, blank fragment. Let's initialize all of these fragments in the onCreate method. To implement a view pager, what you need to do is you need to create a pager adapter. So let's create a pager adapter class. I'm creating this class as an inner class of main activity. Let's call it my pager adapter. And make this class extend from the fragment pager adapter we need to implement some methods and it's asking for a default constructor so let's add it also and you see that the default pager adapter takes in a fragment manager as its argument so let's initialize our my pager adapter my pager adapter my pager adapter is equal to new my pager adapter and it needs to take in one argument that is the fragment manager so we will pass in get support fragment manager and for the tab layout we will say tab layout dot setup with view pager and the view pager we want to set up our tab layout with is our view pager and we need to set an adapter to our view pager and that is the adapter we have just created so let's uh, set our adapter view pager dot set adapter pager adapter and this is my pager adapter 
So because this my pager adapter is an inner class, so we can access these blank fragments uh, directly. We need, don't need to pass them. So this is a uh, get item, get item int i. This i is the position. Let's change it position. So we'll use position to return the items and our items are the blank fragments which we have created. You can use any kind of fragments in these, but I've just created a blank fragment. So let's use a switch case, switch position, case zero, because it starts at index zero. We'll return, this returns a fragment. So we'll return a blank fragment like this. And case one, we'll return our second fragment. That is our blank fragment two. And case three, what we'll return, you know that. We have to give our tab some name. So what we can use, we can use a string array like this. And you can use fragment names. And names you can give uh, first, second, and third. And this uh, string array should be equal to the number of fragments you are using. And so for the first blank fragment, I'm using the first as its tab name. And for the second fra blank fragment, I'm using second as the tab name and so on. So in this get item count, so what's the count of the fragments you are returning? Because here we know we are only using three. You can return three or else you can return fragment names dot length. So now let's run our application. And one thing I can see before running, I've used case three here, rather it should be case two. And now let's run our application. And you can see here we have a working tab bar, but we can't see any titles. I'll go to them in a minute. And you can swipe between the fragments also. And for the title, what you can do is you can use another override method that is the get page title and here what you need to return is the fragment name which we have created above using fragment names at position and that's it for the page title now here we have our page titles and you can see we have a working view manager and with a tab layout one thing to note is that going back to content main.xml or rather activity main.xml you can remove this tab item from here because it's not necessary even if you remove this tab item from here your app will run fine and i've just created this because so that we can add colors to our tab item so don't worry about whether you have added or whether you have left it here your app would work If you want to further customize your view pager, what you can do is go to your class main activity dot class and here what you can do is you can add in view pager dot add on page changed listener and we'll add it like this on page changed listener and here you can uh, adjust your UI according to these three methods that is the on page scroll on page selected and on page scroll state changed. I'm not going into details of this add on page change listener because it is self explanatory and suppose what you can do with this is that if you want to display your floating action button only on the first and second tabs, you can set the visibility accordingly and on the third page when it is selected, that is when I is equal to two, uh, you can set the visibility of a floating action button to be invisible and that's how you can customize your UI. So that's all about the view pager and the tab bar. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe my channel. And please comment below as to what kind of videos would you like to watch next. And I'll be working upon them. And so thank you. Bye-bye. Tata. Take care. And have a good day.